Hello, I'm Christopher from Core, and this is a short video to help you set up your Coros watch with the Core Body Temperature Monitoring Sensor. The video is split into three parts. First of all, we'll ensure you're ready to get set up. Then we'll have a look at the setup process, and then finally look at some of the options. In the description, you'll find links to all the resources you may need. And let's move on to the first section, ensuring you're ready to get set up. To get ready, ensure that you have the latest Core app on your smartphone and that the firmware is up to date. Now, if you're intending to do any sporting activity while wearing the Core sensor, we recommend that you pair it to a heart rate monitor and this will ensure that the data is more accurate. At this stage, the Core sensor will pair to an Ant Plus heart rate monitor and via the Core app, you can connect directly. If you're using the core sensor for 24-7 and everyday wellness tracking, then a heart rate monitor is not required. So once you've done that, you can use the core app and disconnect and you're ready to move on. For the CoreOS, you also need to ensure you have the latest app on your smartphone and that the firmware for the watch is up to date. The version that allows compatibility with the core sensor is from January 2022. So once you've updated your Coros watch with the latest firmware, then you're ready to move to the next step and set up. After you've completed the process of setting up your core sensor with the core app, we recommend disconnecting from the app first. Then you're ready to connect your core sensor to your Coros watch. But first, ensure your core sensor is fully charged and you can shake it. On the top left, you will see a green flashing LED and then you're ready to go. On the watch, click the bottom button and hold. This enters the menu system. With system selected, click. Scroll down, not to sensors, rather accessories. Then we scroll to add Bluetooth. This starts the Bluetooth pairing process of looking for compatible devices. It can take a few moments. Make sure your core sensor is located close by. And if it doesn't work the first time, simply try again. After a few moments, the core sensor should appear. We just click the button to accept this. Now it's successfully paired. I'll exit the menu system, and now you're ready to set up the watch faces to display the data. To show the core body temperature data on your Coros watch, we use the Coros app. I'm already connected to the Coros watch. Here it's the Pace 2, and from this menu I select Workout Data. I then select an activity such as run, where I'd like to adjust the data fields. I can see all the pages available. I'll start with page one, and here I have four data fields. I can change that as required. Leaving this at four, I have workout time selected, but I'd like to change this to core body temperature. I use the menu at the bottom and select body temp, and during an activity, this will show me the live or real time core body temperature for my sensor. I can also change some other metrics. I'll change distance, and this will now become the average body temperature during the activity. I can change another field, and this will become the maximum core body temperature. And in the bottom field, I'll use the menu at the bottom and change this to the minimum. So these are demonstration values. And when I've finished, I click back and save. Returning to the main menu, we can now see what that looks like on the Coros watch. So on the Coros watch, I can start an activity. Click here, first unlock. Now clicking on run, because I've just adjusted the display for the run menus. Run. I'll start the activity and skip the GPS signal for this demonstration. On the watch face, I can see all the different metrics. They're currently empty and it takes a few moments for them to display. We recommend that you wear your core sensor well in advance of an activity. And after a few moments, then you'll start to see the data appear. I have 37,14 degrees Celsius. And shortly after, then the average body temperature, the max and the min display. I can now finish this activity. Clicking here, unlocking. I'll click to pause. I'll then finish this and hold down. I'll save this workout, even though it's a short one. And on this following menu, I can then see a summary of the data. 
There's not much data as it was a short activity, but for the core body temperature, I can see 37,14, and then the maximum and minimum. Obviously, during an activity, you'd see much different values to these. But we can also look at the smartphone and on the Coros app and see other data from our activity. This is a bicycle ride, for example. If I click on this and scroll down through all of the different summary data, I have the body temperature. Here I can see that my core body temperature rose. It was 38,48 as a maximum. I can also click on this and I can see a plot of the core body temperature during the activity and also overlay some different values as required. So this is how to see the core body temperature data on your Coros watch and get the summary data on your Coros app. Now that you've completed setting up your Coros watch with the core body temperature sensor, you're ready to get started. Visit our website at corebodytemp.com for lots of resources on how to use core body temperature and how you can release your untapped power.